The following program is rated TV MALSV. It contains strong language, sexual situations, and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. What data type will be appropriate to store Kim Kardashian's body count? Kim Kardashian's body count. Kim Kardashian's body count. No, 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 Okay, welcome to another video of Computer Science for Gangsters, which is going to continue where we left off from. Okay, so today we are going to cover primitive data types. So remember when we're declaring variables, a lot of programming languages require you to specify the data type of the variable. So basically what type of value you're trying to store in that variable. Not all programming languages require you to specify the data types like JavaScript doesn't require you for most part. I think Python also, so a lot of scripting languages doesn't require it, but whatever. The ones that require, we're going to talk about what we call primitive data type. Primitive means simple kind of like what some of y'all have primitive brains i'm just whatever come back to what we we're saying the so primitive data type let's start out with what we call integers straightforward not that hard you've probably covered integers in school like integers very straightforward integers are just what we consider whole numbers when i say whole numbers i'm not referring to like phone numbers of your host oh. no that's, that's not what i'm saying i mean whole like whole whole to be whole whole numbers basically right and what is that you know whole number is just any type of number like your any number that's not a fraction basically so like your, your age at your big age you should know what a whole number is you know if you're you're 50 that's a integer 50 when it comes to integers we have positive integers and negative integers positive integers that could be your you know I just give you an example of your age some of you with your lowest credit score yeah so if you have a credit score of 300 that is a positive integer that's a horrible credit score to have but that is a positive integer I guess that's the only thing positive about this but a negative integer will be some of you's I see your bank accounts. Some of you, yes, your bank accounts. I see those negative numbers. Negative 300, negative 500. Those are negative integers. Get your game up, bro. You know, I understand this is a rough economy. Do you get what I'm saying? But God damn it, man. Some of y'all are stunting on Instagram, but be having negative 500. So whatever, that's your business. That is a negative integer. I hope that makes sense. Okay. So now when we refer to negative integer in a lot of programming languages, we do have something we call short. Basically, no, I'm not referring to your height. I am referring to, okay, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to short, but there's something we call short. There's something we call, I know it sounds like redundant in a way, integer, which the short form of it is int. It'll make sense. And the other one we refer to is long. I'm not talking about my dick size also. Bad. That's what she said. <laughs> she was like, it's long. No, 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 no. Uh, but what I was say, long, int, and short, those are basically, they're similar. They're all integers, right? So what is the difference? The difference between a short and long or int is basically the size, right? We're talking about size of numbers, not the size you think we're talking about. No, that's not, that's not what we're referring to here. I'm going to need you to concentrate, focus. The size we're referring to here is basically like how many digits can we store in this particular types, right? So for an example, for if you look at this table for short, if you want to store an integer value that's within this range, you will store it in a short. If you have a bigger number, I think this is more in the millions, negative millions to positive millions, right? Two millions or whatever. If you want to store a number in this range, you will store it in an int. The same thing goes for long. If you want to store a number in this range, you store it in long. It's that simple. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. It'll be sad if it doesn't. Okay, so th those are the difference between short, long, and int. It's just sizes. 
that's what she said but moving on okay what do we got the, the next the next type we're gonna talk about is similar but this refers to decimal okay i hope you guys know what decimals are it's not that complicated i'm not even telling y'all y'all don't need to know how many decimal places or significant figures i i think you should know that stuff already i hope you do know that stuff but those are elementary school type material but whatever for this class purpose of this class i will assume you know what decimal means so uh, most programming languages don't like to store fractions directly. So they like to store fractions as decimal. So you gotta convert your fractions to decimal. So I hope you know what fractions are. It can be a hustle on the streets and you don't know what fraction is. Half to decimal is 0 0.5. Quarter to decimal is 0 0.25. So a computer, when you wanna store half, you gotta store 0 0.5. So storing 0 0.5, which is a decimal, we're gonna store it in something, there's something called float, like float, F-L-O-A-T. There's something called double. Yes, double it and give it to the next person. Double, yeah, and decimal. So some programming languages, float, double, decimal, they mean the same thing. They're just decimal, just types to store decimal values, basically. What is the difference between them? It's just, it's similar to the int, long, short. It's just the sizes. It just always comes down to the sizes. God damn it, that's what she always said. But as I was saying, um, the sizes here, similar as you can see, I know this number looks complicated. Don't overcomplicate it for yourself. It's just basically, you know, the, the number of digits, basically digit precisions. That's what it's saying, like six to nine digits precision here. If your decimal is within this range, store it in a float is better. If it's bigger than that, you might as well, you have to store it and double same thing bigger start and decimal it's just that simple they all mean the same thing it's just different sizes basically right i think i don't know if i made it clear with the integer you can if something is a smaller number like a float size you can still store a float size in a decimal right because it's within the range it's a superset of that initial range i hope that makes sense moving on okay next thing we're going to talk about another primitive type is characters so when we talk about characters right think of characters short form of character in computer science we call car like char or something yeah char that's how we say it right char is our char so when it comes to chars, think of chars like your keyboard, right? Like most keys in your keyboard are characters, like the individual key. So like what I mean is like the most of your letters, your individual letters, like A, A is a character, B, B is a character. And let me, let me make this clear. Uppercase A and lowercase A are two different characters. Do you get what I'm saying? A computer needs to understand the difference between lowercase and uppercase A. So it records it as two different character that's how it sees it. Do you get what I'm saying? Same thing with your symbols, your equals, your greater than, less than. They, these are different individual characters. Even your space, yeah, space, like the space bar, when you click it, like it's, it's a different character. So originally, there's something we call ASCII. It's called ASCII, A-S-C-I-I, -I, something like that. I, I didn't come up with a name. That's what the name is. Ask, some people say it's ASCII, I, I don't know. Just, it's A-S-C-I-I. -I. Interrupt this program for an important news announcement. Disclaimer. Yes, most people say that's ASCII, but I say that's ASCII. Maybe because I'm horny. Oh, is that what you want? Back to the program. Which means, I think, I can't remember, I think it's American, American Standard Code. But it's basically a table that looks like this, basically. Then I can give you a bigger table. But it's a table that looks like this, basically. Or, you know, you can look at this, this much clearer one. As you can see, we have all our individual letters. And we can convert these letters to, these letters are converted to ASCII code, basically. It just sounds wrong when I say it that way. This letter could be converted to ASCII code. I don't know, whatever. This are like, when I say decimal number here, I'm not referring to the decimal type I was talking about earlier. When I mean decimal, I'm just still referring to integer. I just mean like each of those characters, right? Like A, there's a there's a code for A. A is 97, B is 98, uppercase C is 67. Why is this important? Because we can take this numbers, this decimal numbers, and there is a math. There is a math to do this. There's a math where we can take those numbers and convert it to ones and zeros. You probably did it, did this in school. It is not that hard. I am not going to cover that in this video. You should be able to take a decimal number and convert it to a binary number. Basically, it's not hard at all. But for this video, we're going to use a calculator. So this is a calculator. So as you can see, let's do this. Let's take, uh, I don't know. So let's say we want to convert E to, let's take even one that is very apparent to C. So as you can see, this has uppercase A is 65. And in binary is, is a bunch of one, zero, 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 and one, right? So if I want to do that, I'll take 65 and convert. And I'll get one, zero, 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 and one. 
And that's kind of what you're seeing here. One, zero, 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 one. I know there's a leading zero here. This zero, because there's something in computer science, computer stores each ones and zero in something we call a bit. Basically, a bit is the smallest unit a computer can store process. So that's a whole different video I'll talk about. It. I think I may make a bigger video to explain some of this stuff a little bit more. But normally, there's something also called a byte, not your fuck, fucked up veneers or whatever. That's not what I'm talking about. A byte in computer sense, B-Y-T-E. You've heard it, gigabytes and all that kind of stuff. Yes, that byte. So it's all memory here. Computer stores ones and zero. So a bit is just, think of them like little boxes, right? They look something like this. It's a little boxes. Per box, it'll store either ones or zeros. So that is what is going on here. It's storing ones or zeros. So a computer likes to store them in 8-bit format, which is a byte which is eight boxes. So that is what's going on here. Think of it like eight boxes here. Storing each of, representing each of it as one zero 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 per box, you know. I hope that makes sense there. I may do a video that may explain this a little bit more in, in depth. But so that's what is happening with characters is, you know, as I said, every most symbols and letters, even numbers can be converted to their binary equivalent, you know, using the ASCII table. This is American standard, you know, as you said, if you have more complex keyboards, you may have more symbols in it. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, you got them Ill Illuminati people. Okay, I'm not here to judge your secret society, whatever. Whatever symbol you have, if your keyboard has it, there may be a conversion for it. But as I said, this is just the standard ones, right? You know, the original, original used to be 128 characters but they have an extended ascii t code table which they increased it to 256 some other countries you know like china you know they have different type of symbols and you know they have their own table you know to convert it to the ones and zeros to binaries but that's what that is character is it those individual characters on your keyboard those individual keys do you get what i'm saying okay so that's character the next primitive type we'll talk about is boolean for short, we call it bool. Yes, bool. And bool is very simple. Bool is just a data type we, we use to store either true or false. So if your girl asks you, do you have a site check? Your answer may be true or false. I'm not here to judge you. If you want to store that in a variable, that will be a Boolean type. It's either true or false. Take what I'm saying. You know, she was like, are you cheating on me? I'm not here to judge you. That answer will be stored in a Boolean. It's as simple as that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. That's all that is. That's all that is. It's simple. True or false. Some programming languages may not have the word true or false. In, in those scenarios, the, the programming language most likely will store true as the number one and false as the number zero. That's just how it does it. Some programming languages just don't, doesn't, they don't have true or false. They don't have that word. So they'll use one or zero, you know? So yes, that's how you store true or false. I hope that is straightforward enough. Okay, that covers most of the important primitive data types. To end this, let's just play a little game where I'm going to ask you some questions and you tell me what is the appropriate data type to store. I hope you guys uh, pay attention. This should be very straightforward. Okay, let's see if we can pull this up. We're going to have very simple data types that we can store. Okay, there we go. So let's start with the first one. What data type will be appropriate to store Kim Kardashian's body count? Yeah, th this should be very straightforward. I mean, looking at the options here, the answer should be short. Oh, but wait a minute, this is a little bit tricky. See, we're talking about Kim Kardashian's body count. Yeah, it might be higher than we're estimating here. If you said long, I don't blame you. I, I, you might be right. So okay, let's 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 say short. I think is the answer. But the way things are going, long may not be off. So I'll give you long. Okay, let's move on. What data type will be appropriate to store number of kids Nick Cannon will have by the end of 2024? So this one should be also straightforward. I will go with short. But the way things are going, I don't know, man. It seems like half of the population may be related to Nick Cannon by the end of 2024. If you said long, that's fine too. I'll let you slide. Long is also fine. I see where you're coming from. Okay, uh, why are we having a lot of baby baby mama questions here what what data type will be appropriate to store number of baby mothers tyreek hill 
we'll have by the end of 2024. Similar case with Nick Cannon. I think it's short, but hey, that man is trying to beat Nick Cannon's numbers. So if you said long, you're not off. Let's keep going. What data type will be appropriate to store if LeBron James is the NBA GOAT? So the answer is LeBron James, the NBA GOAT. What data type? See, hey, 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 hey. I know this is a very controversial topic here. If he's your GOAT or not, I don't really care what the answer is. I'm just saying the type is either true or false. That will be stored in based on this option that will be stored in bold which is boolean right you know so it's gonna be stored stored in bull some people may say some bullshit that's all okay, okay, okay but what i'm getting at it's it's that's bull you know whether it's bullshit or whatever let's keep moving on what data type will be appropriate to store the number of technical fouls Draymond green will get by the end of 2024 nba season i hope my man has you know seeked the right treatment the help he needed hopefully no technical fouls so based on that i will say and say here damn that's a pretty high number int there's no option of short in this particular one you know maybe I mean, they really think draymond green may be that crazy you know but uh hopefully not hopefully that's not the case you know but based on this option we have to go with int moving on what data type will be appropriate to store the letter grade of your next test i hope y'all are doing well in your classes we want more A's, more B's, or even C's, you know, not not those F's, no, those F's or D's, no. But whatever, I mean, you know, some of y'all, I don't know what y'all are doing in school. So we want to store a letter, whether it's A's or F's, that will be stored in a character data type. So that will be char. Okay, let's move on. What do we got next? What data type will be appropriate to store my plug's phone number? First of all, I do not do no goddamn drugs. I don't know. I'm just a third party seller. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, FBI, feds, I, I, I have no, I, I don't know why this question is on here. But I would just say it's a phone number. I don't know what the plug means here. The phone number is a phone number, right? It's a, it's, it's a seven digit. No, American phone numbers are 10 digits, right? So we'll probably store it in a long, a long long data type that makes sense okay moving on what data type will be appropriate to store the amount of money i am going to make by the end of 2024 okay this should be very this is the easiest answer here this should if you said anything other than double you're just a hater i'm definitely gonna be making double do you get what i'm saying that's that's what my by the end of 2024 i'm gonna have made doubles do you get what i'm saying so yes we're talking about millions here don't act brand new. That's what I'm going to make. If you say something other than that, you are just a hater. If you say short, don't let me find your ass. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's what it's going to be, man. That's what it's going to be. Okay. See you guys next time. I hope this video made sense because it really doesn't make sense to me. I'll just be honest. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here, man. I just, I just got to make seven more of these videos. God. Oh, well. See you guys later.